Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explain about the topic number systems. In number systems also, I will continue the concept related to units place digit. I will continue the concept of units place digit. In the last two sessions, I have explained about first category digits of units place digit that is uh, 0, 1, 5, 6. 0, 1, 5, 6. If any number is ending with either 0, 1, 5, 6, uh, what is a uh, units place digit and uh, how to solve the problems related to units place digit of that particular numbers. Okay. Now, in this session, I am going to explaining about the concept if any number is ending with uh, 4 or 9, second category digits. Sir, okay. And third category digits sir, 2, 3, 7, 8. Uh, this we will discuss in the upcoming sessions. Uh, First, in this session, I will concentrate on this uh, second category digits. If any number is ending with either 4 or 9, what are the units place digit value? First of all, for clear understanding purpose, what I will do is, uh, I will write all the units place values. You just, uh, I will take a small example. You just try to understand, uh, uh, try to observe the units place values carefully. 4 power 1, 4. 4 square 16, 4 cube 64, 4 power 4 256. If you want 4 power 5, the units place value is 4. Okay. Similarly, you just write down the same things uh, for 9 also. 9 power 1, 9. 9 square 81, 9 cube. 729 9 power 4 if you multiply this 729 with 9 you will get units place as 1 9 power 5 units place 9 right now if you observe carefully the units place digit of the number 4 here the units places are 4 6 4 6 4 6 all these values are repeated continuously. The cycle of 4 and 6, the cycle of 4 and 6, both are repeated continuously. There is no other digit in which uh, the number is ends. Here, if any number is ending with 4, if any number is ending with 4, and whatever the power value, whatever the power value, the units place digit is either 4 or 6. The units place digit is either 4 or 6, right? Now, the point is when you are getting 4 and when you are getting 6. That is the point here. You need to identify. Here, if you observe carefully, if the power value is 1, 3, 5. If the power values are 1, 3, 5, the units place digit is 4. Units place digit is 4, right? Suppose if the power value is 2, 4 and uh, for 6 also. If the power values are 2, 4, 6 like that, the units places are 6, 6, 6 uh, every time, right? Now, what did you understand from this? Uh, here, 1, 3, 5 powers are nothing but odd numbers. For odd powers, for odd powers, units place value 4 for odd powers units place value 4 whereas for even powers for even powers units place value sir 6 units place value sir 6 the similar concept will be applicable for 9 also same concept if you observe the units place values of 9 here the units place is 9 next units place 1 Again, the units place is 9. Next, units place 1. After that, again, units place is 9. And then again, it will be 1. Here, we are getting the units places only 9 and 1. Only 2 digits. We are not getting any other units place digit, if whatever the power value. If a number is ending with 9, whatever the power value, our required possible units place digits are either 9 or 1. 
the one thing is when you are getting 9 and when you are getting 1. That is the point you need to identify. Here, you are getting the units place 9 when the powers are 1, 3, 5. Then the units place values are 9. Then the units place values are 9. Here, the power values are 2, 4, 6 like this. Then the units place values are 1. Units place values are 1. It means uh, for odd powers, for odd powers, units place is 9. For odd powers, units place is 9. Whereas for even powers, units place is uh, 1. For odd powers, units place is uh, 9. And whereas for even powers, units place is uh, 1. Guys, I will write these four points uh, in detail. Here, the second concept is uh, second category digits are also very easy. Without any calculation also, just by observing the numbers, you can easily tell the answer. See here, if any number, any number ending with 4, if any number ending with uh, 4, okay? Now, for odd power of 4, for odd power of 4, for odd power of 4, units place digit, units digit, for odd power of 4, units digit is equal to 4, units digit is equal to 4, for even power of 4, for even power of 4. Then the units place digit which is equal to 6. These are the two points in which if any number is ending with 4. For odd power of 4, units place digit 4. For even power of 4, units place digit is 6. Similarly, for 9 also same thing. If any number, if any number ending with 9. If any number ending with 9. Now the first point is for odd power of 9. For odd power of 9. Units digit. For odd power of 9. Units digit which is equal to 9. Whereas for even power of 9. Even power of 9. Units digit is 1. Units digit is uh, 1. Okay. These are the four points uh, you must remember so that you will get the answer in simplest manner. Here the first point is uh, if any number is ending with 4 for odd power of 4 units place is 4. For even power of 4 units place is 6. Uh, if any number is ending with 9 for odd power of 9 units place is 9. For even power of 9 units place is uh, 1. Guys, these are the four points you need to remember for second category digits uh, to solve the problems related to units place digit and that to second category digits. Uh, you must be aware of uh, these four points uh, or otherwise you are not in a position to get the answer quickly. Just by seeing the numbers, observation of numbers is required. Here the number is ending with 4. Check it out whether the power value is even or odd. Ending with 9. Check it out whether the power value is even or odd. Based on those values, uh, you will decide whether the units places are 4, 6, 9, 1. These are the required answers uh, for second category digits. Uh, guys, uh, in the next session, we will discuss about the problems based on second category digits. Uh, once it is done, we will go ahead with the uh, third category digits. Uh, okay. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.